Hey, what's going on everybody? So it's been a few a little bit since I've done a garden update. Want to get you guys up to speed again on where things are settling, what things are growing, what things are um not growing if any, but I I'm not I don't think that's going to be the case today. Um so yeah, let's just get right to it and let's send it. All right, so we have already harvested some broccoli, and this one actually got uh, bolted a little too much, so we didn't get to uh, eat on this one. I guess we could probably uh, chomp on it and do it, but uh, everything else is still doing really good. Got some Swiss chard going back there. Again, we're letting this um, basically just seed and go down. Some Swiss chard doing really good over here, and then all this other uh, broccoli, we, um, we basically got to it. There wasn't that much, um, and actually, it looks like we got some cauliflower coming in on this one, um, so that'll be pretty cool. Let's come back. Kale is starting to grow and uh, become very, uh, you know, established here. So it looks like this is going to ha have no problem uh, coming to full growth. Um, so that's a good sign. Uh, the, some of the arugula here is bolting. All right, what trees are waking up and what trees uh, are still asleep, if any? So the palm, the the plum tree is starting to wake up now. So it's starting to get some growth coming in, scattered about. So I'm glad to see that uh, it got its chill hours because we still haven't quite warmed up uh, to our normal sort of temps uh, for San Diego. And it's starting to come out already. Peach tree was already starting to come out, but definitely getting some really good budding going on on just about all the major branches. Um, so I'm hoping to have a pretty good harvest on uh, on this side of the tree. Now let's see here the growth here on the you know the blood orange on my two semi dwarf trees here, my blood orange and my uh, Valencia orange. These the you know, this one at least is doing really well, and I don't remember if this was the blood orange or which one to be honest. I don't remember. Um, but this one looks like it's not growing as fast, but it's definitely starting to put some growth out and uh, some new growth and trying to get out there. So I almost kind of want to maybe go just a little, maybe get an individual bag or something of some mulch and just kind of layer it up around here just to make sure it's really th thick around this. Because it's doing fine now, but uh, you know I have concerns on, you know, once it gets to a certain size, we'll be able to maintain its growth. Um, and I think I'll be able to as long as I keep the mulch thick. So any water that does go down um, stays down there and it can drink up all at once. And we've actually been getting rain fairly often here. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get this... Uh, trying to get this update out before um, the rain comes again because we've already had some morning showers. This peach tree, I mean, just looking beautiful. I mean, you're just getting, um, you know, I've been having to take care of like some of the suckers down here. Uh, I've been trying to manage those as I've seen them come up, but yeah, it's just really coming out. Uh, avocado tree doing just real good got some really good you can see lots of growth taking place here the leaves are sort of sacrificing themselves for the new growth um, we have growth either being sort of this small like right there um, and then but that's kind of growing up just about everywhere all over the plant so it's just starting so it doesn't look too big but uh, I mean we're getting these like new shoots on this one I mean this one alone has like three or four that's already coming out so uh, hopefully we get uh, avocados this year if not it definitely will be next year what's up going on girls you guys are I know you want out let's see if you got any oh yeah we got a few eggs I'm gonna have to come back for these eggs um, this one looks like it's not fully developed the new girls uh, that's fine the new girls, as you can see, are pushing out eggs now. So that was uh, four eggs in one day, and it sounds and, and looked like there was about one or two more in there. So we might get some more. So the eggs of production is doing really good now. Spurt. I mean, this navel orange. Heck, I I'm, wouldn't be surprised if we get some oranges off of this one. Uh, probably won't be too big and too many, but I think we're going to go ahead and get some this this season. Yeah, that, those are looking really good. Hopefully we do. Maybe we won't. And lastly, the mango tree, the little engine that could, um, still just doing good. Still just, you know, continuing to grow. Oh, actually it looks like this branch around here to the side is really starting to get some growth going too. How about this other one down here? Uh, this one down here is, uh, not seeing any growth coming out of it, but it would be, it'd be really great if I can get those, uh, two to kind of grow. Looks like that. Looks like the one around the backside is doing just fine. If I can get this other one to do great, then uh, that'll be just two strong branches that uh, have mangoes on it. That'll be just delicious mango. Uh, all right, and then we're just gonna kind of finish it up with some of the uh, vines and smaller bushes. But the grapevine is starting to waken up. 
starting to wake up all uh, in various spaces, uh, places around down the uh, down the vine itself. Again, I'm gonna keep training it to go all the way down there. Um, and over here, I'm looking for any suckers. Um, looks like this is getting pretty strong and stable. I'm not seeing any suckers coming out over here yet. They sometimes they tend to come out of the root section, so we'll see. Uh, and let's come down here to the uh, ahi amarillo. Looks like there are some strawberries ready too. Um, ahi amarillo. It looks like I'm gonna. I need to trim some of that. It might, some of it's looking a little dead, uh, and so we'll go ahead and prune that back. And hopefully soon, as if it doesn't rain too much today, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this uh, California firewood down. And stack it up along with this stuff and get that out of the way. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, a couple of things I got coming up is uh, working on my uh, wood planer. Had to order some new parts for that, the thickness planer. So hopefully get that going on. And rain still not allowing me to go ahead and uh, finish up the balcony. But again, I'm not getting any leaks through. So at least uh, the, the problem is fixed. I just need to do the additional preventative maintenance and get that knocked out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then next weekend or this coming weekend, uh, I have another Jeep trip coming up. So we'll see if we can't get some cool video and uh, do another video, for, uh, another Jeep video for you guys. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.